Tad is at an abandoned house picking pears. I'm not over there because I have sandals on, but he is foraging through the grass, the snaky grass at this abandoned old house to pick us some pears. Good job. Let's take a beautiful drive through Meriwether County, Georgia. And a little warning about this video, just might make you hungry. I messaged. We know of a Native American Indian trail marker somewhere on this farm. Will we find it? Stay tuned. Let's look at the history of peach farming in Georgia. Last year, 2023, was a terrible year for the peaches. This year has been a bumper crop. Look at the orchards full of healthy peach trees. A little windy today. Feels good out here, it's not so hot. Hey guys, we're out here at Prince Charles Farms. They've got peaches. It was a good year for peaches. Let's go check it out. They're unloading it now. They've got two boxes. Tasting place in here. Do wine tastings. Oh my, look at the wall. Holy moly. Looking good. Looking good. All this stuff is from a restaurant in Warm Springs called Chad's that I love. Oh, look. Oh, I'm going to have to get some peas, Pop. Homemade pea soup. I told you I'd make you hungry. All the good stuff. Oh, that's cool. That's an old tiny refrigerator, right? General Electric. That. Georgia peaches of the past. Oh, look at this, Mark. Hey, Mark, look at this. J.W. Trammell, Luthersville, Georgia. See that? Grown and packed by. Be sure to go back and check out our two videos centered on Luthersville, Georgia. 
Woodland, Georgia, Butler, and Gay. Peaches were first grown in St. Augustine, Florida in the early 1500s. The orchards migrated to Jekyll and Cumberland Island in the state of what is now Georgia, along the barrier islands. Peaches were not the easiest crop to grow and it took several years before the fruit could be harvested. Some farmers turned the peaches into brandy, while others let the wild hogs forage on the peaches that dropped from the trees, and then they harvested the hogs. The center of the peach industry in Georgia was the area now Fort Valley. Here, farmers wanted to tell the story of the peach through festivals and parades. They said that they were native or natural to that part of Georgia. This story is endearing, but inaccurate. Although peaches are not indigenous to Georgia, they are certainly associated with Georgia. Of course, we have filmed in Georgia has the peach logo as well as I voted today in Georgia as a peach logo. Leave a comment if you think I should add a peach to our Georgia Location Scout logo. regular potatoes. Yummy, yummy. Oh, all the good stuff. Here's some gems. I'm going to get some of these. I did these last time. This is really good. I'm going to get some more of this. noticing these beautiful wooden balls. Oh my gosh, these are gorgeous. Beautiful balls. I like that map. Well, I will. Is there any kind of interesting things you want to tell me about peaches? Something most people might not know about peaches. That if, if you touch them, they bruise. Okay. <laughs> she's touching them. She's, and, she's, and she's touching them yes. as you're saying that. Um, <laughs> and by the box, if we wanted to get a box, which one? If you one? want to get this box, it's our number three. The and number you, three box. Uh -huh, and you will have to do something with it within the next two days. Yes. Because they're soft. That's yes. $5. Gotcha. This is our number two box. Number two box. They may have a little blemishes on the outside, but the peach inside is perfect. Oh, I'm sure. And they're very sweet. And, and that's they're seven dollars. Yes. Still a deal. Yes. And how about for the? These are number one class. And if you get the um, one of these with the mix of the scuppardon and, and the muscadine, seven dollars a four. And you'd like to have some? Oh, you already got some. Okay. Now I know. Cool, cool. Yeah, I've got these going. I love these. Okay. I'm going to try them. Oh my, they're delicious. Let me take one more quick look. Just everything you could possibly want. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Old time. Stick candy. 
I remember it. We used to get these and we'd put them in lemons. And that was a snack. And look at the fudge, Pop. Holy mackerel, look at the little pieces of fudge. Wow. Delish. Did you want any tomatoes or anything over here? Or no, what is this? Look at these. What are these? Plum? Yeah. Mm. Great teacher that know what, what you know was the, the best what grade was the of best kind in and but but I do know that the old Henry's at this time they're really good. Really good. I think that's so the ones we're gonna get. Cool, 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 cool. But I love peaches in it, you know. Oh yeah, yeah, I yeah. Be a girl and not like peaches. Oh yeah, <laughs> better. How often do you do the wine tastings? Tell me a little every bit. Day. Every wine day. Wine tasting every day begins at eleven thirty on weekdays. On Sundays to begin at twelve thirty. At twelve thirty. Mm -hmm. Cool, 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 cool. Did you want an ice cream or anything or you okay. Is that an Indiana Jones hat, Mark? If you're looking for a beautiful afternoon drive and visit some lovely farms, check out Meriwether County, Georgia, including Fitzgerald Farms. Wine tasting over here. And they can come out in the evening and do the wine tasting. That's probably nice little place to come out in the evening and drink wine. Reminds me of that old truck that used to be down in Woodbury. And this is what they're getting ready to have a pumpkin patch this year. Here are the pumpkins getting ready. Look at that. They're getting there. Oh, that one turned to mush. Hey, there's an orange one over here already. A couple of orange pumpkins already. Look at those. Wow, there's a lone sunflower way over there, huh? The pecans. This is Meriwether County at Fitzgerald Farms. We picked up some peaches and come out here to the pumpkin patch just to show you. These are growing. That'd be kind of cool. Maybe we'll come back. Kind of windy today. See if we have just enough energy in our battery to get out to the peaches. Georgia peaches. I don't believe peaches were naturally here. I believe they were brought in through South Carolina, I think is the story. And I'm not sure, but we're gonna get underneath here because the lady said we could. Let's get inside. This little peach grove. Really neat. I do not think Georgia's peaches are native of Georgia. I think they were brought through South Carolina. That makes sense because the settlers who first came here came from South Carolina. I don't see any on the trees in here. These have been picked, harvested out. 
There's some pits here where maybe animals got to some of the ones that dropped. Deer, ooh. Especially when they're that dropping off the branches time of year. Some of the pages I'm sure are low enough they just feed right off. They just feed right off. Mark's imagining deer coming up. Nibbling on some peaches. Yeah, there are tons of peach pits. kind of plant this is if anybody knows it's like something this plant here I was curious about what it was Whatever it is, there's a bunch of them, them. all righty we come out to the peach farm with y'all enjoy $5 the five dollar box you have to eat right away they're more mushy the seven dollar box will last a little bit longer a few bruises but the insides are good so we sprang for the seven dollar box i don't know what peaches are selling for at the grocery store right now but i think we got a deal here we are at the peach farm under a peach tree Soaking up that Georgia sunshine. I, I messaged. Just turn around. Yeah. Mark and I knew of what we suspected was a Native American Indian trail tree marker. There it is. We found it. Yep. No bull. We found it. This tree, if it really is a marker, lies in a direct path along a known Indian trail that runs roughly from what is LaGrange, Georgia through Greenville, Georgia and on to the Flint River. The elbow or nose of this tree points due east towards the river. We think this is one. What do you think? Leave a comment. Thanks again to all of our generous supporters, and we hope that you like and subscribe and join us as we explore more histories and mysteries.